how Project 2016 works. So Microsoft Project's a computer database that uses two main tables. We've got my table of um, tables of data to keep track of my project. And then Project uses one table to store the information about the tasks associated with your project and the other for resource information. So by using the many views available in Project, you can display your project data from these tables in many different ways. So we input a task, the task name, how long that task is going to take to complete, when that task will start, and when that task will finish. And what I've added in the resource name column is the resource person who will actually work with that task. So that's Michael Smith. What I've done with the resource names, the resource name will go in one of the resource tables. So before you even start to work with your project, once you've input all of your tasks in the task table, you need to set up your resources and attach them to the task. So we have our task views and we have our resource views. So I just click on resource sheet. Resource sheet will show us all of the resources that are ready to be attached to the tasks within this project. Not only can we create the tasks in the resources table and join the two of them together once we've used the resources and attached them to the task, but we can also view this data differently. So if I go back to my Gantt chart, at the minute I can just see my task table and my Gantt chart. What I can do is just press Control and Home and Alt and Home, and it, you can see my Gantt chart now starts from the very first task. I'm just going to click in my Details task, and then I've got my task form which shows just underneath. So this is a split view. So when I click on my Create Architectural Plans, this is the one for number two, ID2. I can see my resource is ID26, and that's Michael Smith. His work hours, his schedule start, and his schedule finish. And as I move down, if I want to do submit plans and I use my drop down arrow for my submit plans, I can say that's going to be the architect. And once I double click on the architect, it brings me up the resource information and everything that's been attached to the architect. So that's in your resource name, the hours worked, the schedule start and the schedule finish. So that's looking at a split view. So just take the tick out of the split view and I'm back to my gun chart.